Okay, I've got a question from a client where they need to change the combination on a DL2700 alarm lock, electronic uh, access security lock. I believe it's a WP that uh, we sold or supplied the client. The client's up in the Midwest and the installed locks are down in the, um, down here in Florida with us. The client is remote and he just wants to send a video to his people at the site to be able to change the code. So the bottom line is they have a user code that they need to remove and they need to remove it because they've got a bad actor, somebody going in with that user, co user code. So what you need is your management code and this is set to the factory management code which is 12345. That's in the installation instructions. Assuming the client followed the installation instructions at the time of the original installation, that's not their management code. So you'll need your management code. What you do is you enter your management code and then according to the table in the installation instructions of which I'll have a screen uh, capture of the table, you enter in the address for the user, the user address. And assuming it's just user one, it's alarm lock key, one one alarm lock key after you enter the management code. So what happens is this, right now, my management code is going to work. Green light, the motor spools, I can rotate the lever. It relocks. You may have seen the red. I have user code 1, user 1 set to 33333. Three, 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 three. Okay, it's green light, it's spooled, it works. The user code has to be the same as the management code in terms of quantity of digits. So what I'm going to do now is make 33333 no longer work. I'm just going to make it 22222. So here it is. Management code, AL1AL. Um, I'm sorry, management code, AL11AL, the new user code. Six beeps is what will happen. Management code, AL11AL22222. Six beeps. The you heard, you saw the red and heard the spool. Maybe the original code was all threes. The new code is two, all twos. Green light and it spools. That's how you change the code. In the installation instructions, there's a lot more to look at in terms of this uh, material. So follow the instructions or dive into them and that page will be there and if you need a link to them I'll provide that as well. The next part of the video is to help you determine whether or not when you're trying to change a code if you have a problem. If you are enjoying this video please click thumbs up or like and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. What I mean by a problem is if you're not getting any action out of the keypad at all when I pulled this lock off the shelf to be able to make this video, I plugged in the battery, nothing worked. Okay, no problem. Here's the battery that was in the box. So what what do we do? If you don't get any activity, don't assume the lock is not functional. Let's check the battery. You're going to need a multimeter, or at least a voltmeter. I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to set it to DC voltage, and I'm going to set it to what I expect to see. I'm just going to leave it set on 20 because uh, I don't expect to see a value higher than 20. And I'm going to put my probes from my multimeter onto the terminals of the battery. And I'm just it doesn't matter what color you touch to what. You'll either get a positive or a negative value. It doesn't matter what you, what you get. So I'm getting 0 0.6, 0 0.59, 6 tenths of a volt. I'm expecting this to be a 6 volt battery or an 8 volt battery, so that's no good. The battery I was using is fresh, brand new. Here it is. This is what I was using to, to uh, demonstrate changing the code. Let's check, let's check this battery. Come on. Whoop. Let's do this. Point seven eight point seven. Uh, pardon me. Seven point eight seven. Seven point eight eight. Yeah, I, I don't know the voltage of this battery. 
but it's not a 0.6 volt battery. That <laughs> even even a AAA battery. This has got five. Well, that makes perfect sense. Hold on, hold the phone. This is probably going to have five AA batteries in it. So five, and they would be wired in series. So 1.5 times 5 is 7.5. I'm sorry, I, a learned lore master such as myself should have known that. So this should be 7.5 volts because I read somewhere that there's just AA batteries in here. Those are 1.5 volt. Check your, check your radio or your remote. A AA battery is 1.5 volts. When you wire them in uh, series, it's additive. So if you have two AA batteries, you've got, and they're wired in series like a remote for a TV, that's a three volt remote, and that's how that works. So this should be reading 7.5, we were getting 7.87. It's always normal for voltage to be plus or minus five or 10%. The bottom line is if you've got something that's just simply not working how you expect, don't think the, do, don't conclude that the hardware is no good you've got to check the battery. And when I went to make that video, I discovered, ah, I was getting six tenths of a volt. Any questions on this alarm lock DL2700 or checking batteries for voltage, please feel free to reach out. Thank you. Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up, please subscribe, and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.